protections for teens online. That's the goal of two new bills just unveiled by lawmakers. News specialist Lindsay Ayers joins us with more on that. And Lindsay, a long list of requirements for social media companies, including parental consent for anyone under 18. Yeah, that's right, Debbie. The new text of this bill just out today, and it requires that social media companies must also make sure that filters are turned on for minors, that they block direct messages, and that their accounts aren't visible to anyone who's not a friend on social media. Now, the pair of bills also requires default settings that can only be overridden by a parent, like the search feature not being visible and turned off, the features that lead to excessive use. Those are things like auto play, infinite scrolling, and push notifications. Now, one of the bill's sponsors says that he is trying to prevent youth from the harm he believes social media can do to minors, their mental health, their sleep, and especially young girls' risk of being targeted. Senator Mike McKell addressed the criticisms, though, that this state is stepping in where parents should be the ones doing the monitoring. This is something we want parents to do. And it, it's it's very clear in in the findings, but oftentimes those tools are hard to be hard to use, and, and they're not being used. And in a perfect world, parents would be in charge entirely. I think we all have kids, grandkids that understand how to use our phones, how to work around tech better than most of most of us do, and and that's that's just the reality of the situation. So we, we need some help. Another big pushback to these bills is how to verify a user's age without requiring people to upload personal information to social media, like an ID. Senator McKell says they won't be requiring IDs, but rather any other means of verification, like from a third party, so long as it has 95% accuracy. Now, important to note here, guys, the state is currently being sued over its current social media laws, arguing that those laws are unconstitutional, that they violate a minor's right to free speech. Now, the date of the implementation of those current laws was already pushed back from March until October. These new bills take effect as well in October. Reporting live from the Capitol, I'm Lindsay Ertz. Back to you. Lindsay